perhaps one of the things to to realize in the in the world of uh, of uh, designer I mean design is that uh, the areas where simulation and uh, research is required is in those areas where uh, we are trying to design new vehicles that, that push the envelope of what has been uh, what has been built up to that point uh, and in particular uh, we are seeing the emergence of uh, micro air vehicles uh, that's becoming ever more frequent and uh, again the challenge there is try to design vehicles which are efficient to uh, reach to have a long range uh, and yet be as small as possible, and these are two conflicting requirements. Uh, and motivated by this uh, idea to create vehicles which are small and light and efficient uh, is when the Air Force started uh, a program on biologically inspired flight uh, that we actually, a program in which we participated, and our particular focus there was to look at bad flight and try to understand uh, the mechanics of uh, uh, of bad flight and try to extract uh, potential mechanisms and uh, physical uh, strategies to, to design those vehicles. About two, about two years ago we celebrated uh, the 100 years of the creation of the first aeronautics program at MIT and in the field of aeronautics 100 years is pretty much the whole history of, of aeronautics and uh, one of the things uh, so, uh, one of the things we, we became apparent is that uh, MIT has been involved with pretty much, uh, either directly or indirectly, with pretty much any major development in the field of aeronautics and astronautics. Uh, one of the things that uh, we do periodically here in the department is to look at the strategic uh, plans. We develop strategic plans. We tend to do that every seven to ten years. and. Uh, uh, we completed one of such exercises uh, when I became department head uh, four years ago. And uh, we think aerospace is uh, in great shape. Uh, we think there are tremendous opportunities and, and activities and uh, the future is looking really very bright. And perhaps I should summarize the main uh, findings in, in our strategic report. Um, the, the first observation that, that was a was known to many of us, but it would, was really reinforced was the fact that aerospace is a critical sector to, to the economy. Uh, people do not know that, perhaps, but uh, what, uh, aerospace is the largest contributor, uh, aerospace is the largest contributor to the positive uh, balance of trade for this country. Of all the things we export, Aerospace is, la is the one that, that produces a largest positive balance to, to our balance of trade. Uh, one of the main findings of our strategic plan uh, was the realization that, uh, or the reinforcement of something that many of us already knew, but it became even more apparent, which is that aerospace is a critical sector to our economy. Aerospace is a, a, a field or a domain where this country is, is a clear leader uh, worldwide. And not only that, but from an economical perspective, uh, is the largest contributor to our positive balance of trade. Um, so, uh, having said that, the challenge for us is to really uh, take the steps necessary to maintain this, this leadership, and that is becoming increasingly difficult. Um, and that's happening because of several factors. Uh, first and foremost is the fact that there is a tremendous competition from overseas. Uh, many countries, not only Russia, but uh, China, India, Brazil, uh, to name just a few, and certainly, of course, Europe, uh, have uh, vibrant aerospace programs and uh, they are becoming increasingly competitive and more efficient. And another challenge that we face in this country is that the workforce is getting old and uh, it is unclear whether we, have, we are producing enough uh, engineers to replace the the, the forecast uh, needs for, for, that, for that field.